I will be your host for all things RuPaul's Drag Race for season 15. F off, I just made that up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Bianca Del Rio, and I'm excited to announce that I... <laughs> I will be your host every week for the official Drag Race The official No, I gotta do all of it. Hi, it's me, Bianca Del Rio, and I'm excited to <laughs> I'm not excited, I'm trying to think. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Get her a drink, she'll do it once. <laughs> I know, it's true! <laughs> Lil Nas. Lil Nas? Is it Nas or Naz? Nas. Nas. So, Selena and Spice lip sync to so Selena and Spice lip sync to That's What I Want by Little Nas. That's what the, Nas? Little Nas X. Little Nas X, Little Nas X. Okay, Selena and Spice, Little Nas. Everybody's trying so hard. Okay, by Little Security. Nas, right? Secure. Little Nas? Little Nas, bitch. Nas or Nas? Nas, bitch. Nas? I want to congratulate you on your new feet. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you that are watching, <laughs> in the comment section, I just had foot surgery, so I'm wearing as what we I... call an orthopedic drag shoe. But I did show up to work. I can't wait to see your shiny new set of toes. <laughs> <laughs> Do they match the ones in your mouth? <laughs> I got... <laughs> he seems to forget that I'm this cat. He's just holding a leg. Mm. You're also in the litter box. Hello. <laughs> Sassy snaps. Okay, here it is. Next up. Are you sponsored by Payless now? Okay, li listen, I'm putting it out there. So in the comments, people, I just had foot surgery, okay? For those of you who didn't see the first episode, I'm explaining it now. I had foot surgery, but I still came to work. I had a mild reaction to getting my toes pumped in Peru, and now they're healing, okay? I thought the girls went to Turkey for that. Yeah, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Your tour dates, where do we go? What's the name of my website again? For more information, go ahead and ask okay. me. Okay, so where, so where can our viewers find the next Alyssa Edwards tour dates? TheAlyssaEdwards.com. That is TheAlyssaEdwards.com. Brilliant! You gotta add the little sound effect right there when I do that. Okay, thank you. How do you think the Queens felt knowing that $200,000 is at stake? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know how much it pays to own a TikTok account, but uh, no. but it seems like it's probably a big upgrade. True, true. My favorite is the orange TikToks. Or the tutti fruity ones. Ah, yeah, yeah, got it. <laughs> Some people who yeah. have followed my career, they say, I wish you would go back yeah. To like, you know, kind of like a softer, uh, less less makeup look. To be fair though, as I'm talking to you right now, you know, as a gay man, I must say I like it best when you're hard. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's like emotion doesn't have anything to do with drag. Yeah. I mean, you know, I can't even remember my sad life. I remember mine. You're supposed to say yeah. Oh, yeah. First up is Miss Selena S. Titties. Selena S. Is it, titties. Is it titties or titties? It's T I T T I E S. Oh. Selena S. Titties. S. Titties. S. Titties. S. Titties. Selena S. Titties. S. Titties. S. Titties. S. Titties. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My stomach just all of a sudden got upset. Oh. <laughs> Estities. We Estities. all did. Estities. Up, Selena Estities. Well, uh, she uh, is obviously representing for LA. At first glance, I did not know this was a street lamp. I mean, she could be I lit. still don't know that that's a street lamp, honestly. Lucy LaDuca wins. <laughs> it sounds like, it sounds like poop, right? Uh, what? <laughs> is that what they, no. is that what it's supposed no, to be? No, Laduca is an expensive shoe. So it's like if I was named like Carly Capizio. <laughs> <laughs> Completely, that is it. I mean, I believed every single word of it. And I loved how she was just performing and right at the end she gave us a split. Yes. A singular split. Yes. I thought she was giving it to us, the shaking of the titties. I loved her reveal of it too. And she was like, I know you know there's something, so I'm just gonna show it to you beautifully. I loved it. Yeah, I, I like loved that. it. So mistress wins. Yes. Do you agree? I pull 100%. I agree too. But the funny thing is that the girls that are sitting backstage think that the winner is Jack mm. and they are gagged. 
<laughs> when Mistress comes in. Did you see their faces? Oh, yeah, they were shocked. They're like, Ugh! and I just love Miss Mistress. Is going, Why y'all mad? Why y'all mad? Why? I mean, literally, their faces were cracked. And this is what I live for, is just seeing bitches thinking they know, and they don't know. Okay, the, this this is the common occurrence here. And what's interesting is that all of you bitches are just jealous. I have to say it yet once again, is that I've had footwork done. I've had oh. footwork done. I've had foot surgery done. I've had my toes pumped. I recently came back from Paraguay. Paraguay, yeah, you've been to the doctor. Mm. Detox gave me the number for a doctor to get my toes pumped because actually this spring I will be sporting some plump -alicious feet in some open toe shoes. Oh. Because I don't know if you know this, it's all on trend. And the idea here is that there's nothing prettier than an open toe shoe on a big man hoof. <laughs> but that's the new cleavage? That is. The new cleavage? Toe cleavage, honey. Pumped, 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 pumped. Pump. Well, you know, I went down to Paraguay uh, last fall. Mm -hmm. and Explains the smell. I got my earlobes done. You did! I was gonna say, when I saw you earlier, they look a little fat and juicy. Some of the girls, you know, they get their lips done, you yeah. know, they get the fillers. No, yeah. I wanted my lobes. You've got to be careful. I wanna f you in your ear and then you'll be stuck with hearing aids. <laughs> <sighs> Can't use that either, can you? Can't use that. <laughs> Are you into feet? You know what? I'm not into it. I wouldn't say I have a fetish, but if I'm into somebody, I'm into their whole body. Okay. Like, I'm gonna explore everywhere. Just call me Dora, bitch. <laughs> oh, that's hysterical, Dora, bitch. All right, now. Can I stand up for one second? I just need to like, unpinch my sack. How are you? I'm well. <laughs> How are you? I am doing well. I, I can't really are play. You? Well, okay, you're looking at my shoes, I aren't am. you? Okay, well, I need to clear this up every episode. I recently had foot surgery. You know that my feet were rather skinny and things were looking bad, so uh -huh. I decided to get my feet pumped. Oh! Yeah, I had them pumped in Aruba and they're settling nicely. So oh my I'm, god! I'm in an orthopedic I traction. see you there. The one doctor! Yes! yes! Oh Dr. Williams! Did they work? Yes! yes! Get ready, honey. They, they haven't worked yet, but... Well, it's, it's taken a minute. They've yeah. got to settle. They gotta, got to, you got to roll them out, you know? Yeah, speaking of, when is your filler going to settle? I don't think I ever will. Everyone keeps saying she looks like Detox. Well, she looks like Detox if Detox had talent. Yeah, that's yeah, also fair. That's a little different. Yeah. 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 Or it didn't... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just not gonna say it. Okay, okay hold on. <laughs> if she wasn't full of gas station silicone. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been in a pool with Detox? We were in Mexico. We were in a pool once and her butt floats. Does it really? You know how the corgis, those little dogs? Yeah. You put a corgi in the water and their butt floats. Hers did that. Oh my God, I wonder what she would do in the Dead Sea then. Oh, it was wild. Levitate? Listen, I want everyone at home, if you asking yourself, damn, why is she sitting like a man? I don't know how you guys do it. This is uncomfortable. Some people watch the show and they'll DM you and be like, good luck tonight. No matter what happens, you're gonna be a winner to me. And I'm like, what do you mean? No matter what happens, it already happened. Yeah. The show be, comes on every week. Every week. The show is on Friday <laughs> and today is Saturday. In the TV in world. TV. Oh, in the TV. But they have no idea that it's actually December of 2022. That you that kind of just confused me. You know I'm really bad with like time quantum leaps and holes and <laughs> multiverses. Yeah, I got it. But yeah, here we are. Yeah, here, we are. here we are. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm sure you're looking at my feet going, what is she doing? Totally. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I had to go to Guatemala to get my toes pumped. Uh-huh. Because I plan on unveiling later this year some new plump toes and some open toe shoes. Cause Toe cleavage is the new thing. You got a BBL on your feet? Yes, bitch! <laughs> I love that! Yes! Jealous? Yeah, I'm totally jealous. Cheers. You know how much cheers. you can make on OnlyFans off of that? Only toes, Only honey. toes! All the rage. Yes. It's all the rage. Don't you find it funny that anytime someone's not attractive, they're called a comedy queen? <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed that? It's true. Every mm. ugly bitch is a comedy queen. <laughs> and I can say that because I am one. All right? <laughs> it is. Okay, my biggest offense is not being called ugly and being the comedy queen. My offense is when they call people comedy queens that aren't funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nina West. Oh. <laughs> All right. You can keep that This in. is fun. She can keep that in. Best part about that episode was that Lux called Lucy's drag generic. Now, <laughs> I thought, okay, that's rotted, but it's kind. But she said it, do you agree with Lux's Assessment. I mean, I've said this before. I feel like I've seen this situation before. Like, I can put my thumb over Lucy and I get, like, see a Trixie. Ooh. And I, like, can put my, um, 
thumb over the outfit and I can like clock how many times she's worn that wig. I'm just, it's, it sells on Drag Race to like paint yourself as like a bimbo, blonde, Barbie lover, mm -hmm. but I think there's just something else out there. So you agree with Lux? It's generic. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> generic. <laughs> Have you ever experienced a moment where you were upset coming from Untucked? No, back on my season, I kept it really cool. The entire season, me and the girls got along really well. Your imagination is running well. First of all, you said, where are your shoes? Where are your little black aqua socks? That is imagination, and this is more imagination, bitch. The T is, sometimes, your feelings get hurt. Yeah. And you know, you're in a pressure cooker. Yeah. You're in a competition, you don't have your phone, you don't have porn, you don't have friends. You don't have weed. You don't have anything. You have other cross-dressers who are there to fight for the same prize that you're fighting for. Yes, because it's what? A competition. A comp <laughs> this is a competition and things got really real and someone's going home this week. <laughs> that was beautiful. You say you're not an actress. That was divine. <laughs> what are your memories of your moment in Untucked with Tamisha Aman? <laughs> Ooh, I have heartburn, sorry. <laughs> When the episode first aired, I was just, I was cringing. I was yeah. like, because I hate acting like that. And it was a moment, you know? It, it's, you had enough. It wasn't my proudest moment. Yeah. But once the show aired and I was nominated for an MTV award, that Untucked one, Untucked is very first Emmy award. Uh -huh. You no. went, I gave it. I gave it. You know, me and Tamisha gave some good television, especially because those other bitches were being boring. And I was like, you know what? Like, who really gets that upset? over someone being called arrogant. I want you to hold back. I really want you to hold back. So you sit back and look at her. Are you good with, with her now? Oh! Got it. All right! We can't say much more unless she has a lawyer present. Let me ask you, were you having flashbacks when Malaysia said, I said what I said? I was triggered because when Tamisha <laughs> said that, I wanted to walk across the room and just drag it by her wig. <laughs> <laughs> it's not called a wig anymore. It's called a hair choice. Oh. Hair pieces. Hair choice. What do you think about the feeling in the workroom after their big fight? It's awkward as f Of course it is. There's so much tension because, remember, we're going back to the hotels and going to sleep, and you're sitting in those feelings and letting it bubble up. You're like, bitch, what I didn't say tonight, I'm going to tell you tomorrow morning, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then when you get there, you're like, oh, maybe it isn't that serious. <laughs> but, but it is. But it is in my mind. Yeah. I am a Mistress Isabel Brooks stan. I am too. I love the fact that she is old school and cutthroat. Yeah. And that it is a joke and she is having a good time. But I thought the way she weaseled her way into getting that role was the right way to handle it. Mm -hmm. You know, rather than say, I want it, I want it, she just stated the faults that lie within Aura and said, maybe someone else should play it. Well, why don't you play it? <gasps> Me? Me? I couldn't imagine! <laughs> I love a shady bitch, I really do. And she gives in, she gives in. And you see yeah. the other girls rolling their eyes like, mm. Cause they all wanted the role and didn't get it. Exactly, but so the best part about all of this madness is Malaysia and Mistress now have to work together in this scene. A majority of the scene is the two of them. Now they're not talking, they mad. Do you think this is gonna help them or you think it's gonna make it worse? I hope it makes it worse. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna see the girls suffer, burn to the ground. <laughs> Now, Selena is the only one left without a win. Do you sense a little bit of frustration from Miss Selena Estides? I don't. She even said in this episode, yeah. well, I don't need a win to win. <laughs> so I think she's just going on with it and like, work queen, <laughs> safety, I, safety first. I don't need a win to win. That's right. There you go. So there it is. There it is. Work it, titties. <laughs> I like working titties. Working titties. I love it. <laughs> I'm working on my titties and she's working the titties. No, you're working on my nerves. Okay, <laughs> now. Oh, good one. Listen. Good one. Yeah. <laughs> Pause for the ponytail break. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I flat ironed my hair last night for the I'm gonna whip it around. Whip it, whip it, whip yeah. it again. Show us what you would do. Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. Yes! Yes! Yes, just like a graduation castle. Okay. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, but wait, bitch, because I came here specifically because I've been watching the last few pit stops. Uh -huh. Wear your black shoes. Black shoes? The little black sock shoes you've been wearing. Bitch, what are you talking about? Your toe surgery. I just had foot surgery. Are you sponsored by Payless now? Okay, li listen. Well, I had to go to Guatemala to get my toes pumped. You got a BBL on your feet? Yes! Uh, I had them pumped in Aruba. I recently came back from Paraguay. 
Paraguay, yeah, you've been to the doctor. What toe surgery? Where's them heels came from? Girl, I have been wearing, what the f what the f have you been, <laughs> Rich, I've been wearing heels the entire f season. Remember the fire dancers? from um, the labyrinth. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. And, um, you know, they would juggle their heads. They pop their heads off and stuff. Yeah. Are you saying that's what it reminds you of? No, or... this is just a non sequitur. She's just talking uh, about labyrinth. All the queens are sitting back talking about iconic moments from all 200 episodes. Uh -huh. One of your favorites, Lux, does an Alyssa Edwards impersonation. How'd you feel about that? Did you think it was good? The personation? Yeah, the person. I do. <laughs> Coco, you got to pull him a pick up in the eye. Girl, girl look how orange you look, girl. I do. Of course, I was looking at that going, oh my God. <laughs> Four favorite memories. My favorite memory of Snatch Game was the fact that the camera wasn't behind me because I had like three wigs with black bobby pins so, <laughs> that were holding three blonde wigs up. And it just looked like a cat just took a in the back of my head. Yeah, so it was yeah. just right there. But also, try not to break character when Officer Bird came out of your ass. Yes! Just like, Officer Bird, and I was like, Anna wouldn't laugh. <laughs> Anna wouldn't laugh. But yeah. uh, I didn't even spend on anything. I mean, I wore the same wig four or five times. Well, crazy, I think our seasons were the cheap seasons. Mm -hmm. I literally wore the same pair of eyelashes. I That's how when I got home, I, I looked like a alley cat anus. <laughs> That's a look. It was very that. That's a look. Show us again. Use your camera right here, let them see. Yeah. Giving Katy Perry. <laughs> Those challenges were like, I was like, it's either gonna be really fun uh -huh. or I'm gonna be very discombobulated. <laughs> yes. I learned that word like five years ago. Mm -hmm. And it was fun. And then I was like, you know, just keep having fun. And then, yeah, the people that weren't having fun, I was just like, just let them die. <laughs> let them die. You should really write for greeting cards. Thank so beautiful. You. Have fun. Yeah. Or die. I'm like a walking haiku poem. Like, being Anna Nicole Smith, yeah. she's mostly known for being busty. I didn't have boobs. I didn't no. have boobs on, but you didn't know that because no. I was like, I was trying to embody her from the throw up. You, you know? did, you and did. So it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, why don't you give me a little bit of it right now? This is your camera. I don't know if I'm prepared right now, but I feel like before I came in here, it was colder than the time that I went out there smoking a cigarette. I was like, Mom, no, why is it so cold out here? And nine years later, it's still funny. Woo! Lux was doing a good job, but definitely Selena was the top in 100%. that moment. 100%. I agree. And I agree. Lux was, Woo! When she did that hair flip, Whoosh. bam! I mean, those 22 inches just they flipped really and did. turned and exited. I was went, that the same wig? That was the uh, same wig, wasn't probably, it? Probably, yeah. probably. But I was like, girl. And her, she, she mad. was mad. She mad. Oh, she was she mad, mad. mad. I just I love her drag. <laughs> oh, she was so angry. <laughs> and I loved every second of it. This brings me joy. Yes, it does. Ah, that wig, mm -hmm. 40 inches? No. Exactly. I always said it was like a grinder, 40 inches. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't real. That was 22 inches, 24. How far back are you putting it on your head? Oh, that's fair. Are you putting it like Tyra Banks? Is it halfway on the back of your head? Uh -huh. Now that would be probably about 28, 30. Yeah, I'd say to like 28. Yeah, maybe. that's it. 40 inches? Uh, is this, what, what's this? Uh, I've never put so much importance on amount of inches, you know, because you can get a lot done with six or seven. Yes, but this is like a grinder 40 inches. They say 40 inches, but in person. I'm happy with about nine or 10, to be honest. Oh, just a demure nine or 10. <laughs> that explains why there's an echo in here. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bianca, I know that you are a resident occasionally of uh, Palm yeah. Springs. Uh, is it true that that's where queens go to die? Smell me. I'm dead. <laughs> On the inside or the outside? Look at me. I'm dead! Dead! I need your mortician's number. <laughs> we can see that Lucy has been definitely unsatisfied with being safe this yeah. season. But now on season 12, Jan was famously safe for the Madonna challenge. What do you remember of this moment? Since you were there. I remember. Wait, wait. Let's just take it for the record that you sat there for a second laughing. Go ahead, continue your laugh. I'm, I'm laughing because. <laughs> you hate her. I'm laughing, I'm laughing. I love you hate her. You hate her. I'm laughing because it was giving so much like Lucy, where it was giving like clearly upset, mm -hmm. but then being like, but well, I'm not mad. I like, I remember the first thing I told Jan, I'm like, girl, when you turned around, <laughs> the cameras might not have been able to see her face. <laughs> it, it was the turnaround and went. <laughs> And I said, oh, she is not happy today, She's mama. She's not. 
at all. And I love it. She was like upset that she was safe. And I'm meanwhile, I'm in the back. I'm like, thank God. Safe is like, I'm good. <laughs> it's like waiting for test results. I'm good. That's I'm good. good. Thank you. I live out. I lived a f another day. Yes, bring it down. <laughs> I'm good now. Yes. Bring it on. Let's change that. Yeah, bring three or four. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some syphilis in here. <laughs> Let's clap for chlamydia. <laughs> And I have, I have had many people say that I've been a little too nice. And I think now that we're whittled down to less contestants, it's an easier opportunity for me to be a Well, you know? perfect, and I'm the nastiest bitch in the bunch. You so. see, that's why they brought us together. <laughs> I would say God, but I don't believe in that. <laughs> well, I don't. I mean, it's, it's a bit, I mean, not to get religious. Nobody religious is watching this, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Maybe the Mormons. Oh God, they're so boring. So I don't like the color wig with her skin tone competing with the orange. My eye doesn't know where to go or what to look at. Yeah, mm, it looks like a Petri dish. Yes. A Petri dish of choices. Ooh, it does look like a Petri dish. I said a Petri, not a peach I like tree Petri. dish. I'm from the South, bitch. I have not seen you in a hot minute. It's been a while. It has, it's been like a whole year. A whole year. And the last time we were hanging out was when we were doing the Boss Events. Drag and Drive Tour. Yes. Pandemic times Ooh. was a wild time. It was a wild time. And, and for those of you who don't know that we were doing a show in parking lots for people during the pandemic, because that's what people needed during the pandemic, was drag. It was, to me, the funniest acting challenge till this day. Girl, nothing's funnier than a fart. A fart is but unless you yourself, but that's a different bit. But the thing with the, you know what's happened. It happened to me once. It I did. was in the third grade. Tell us, tell us. I was in school in the Dominican Republic. Uh -huh. It was the third grade, mm -hmm. and I shit myself. Mm -hmm. um, and then my teacher, we had showers in school. My teacher had to shower me. Uh -huh. the career. And then you dated you know, the teacher. The <laughs> 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 and I had to go home with <laughs> pants. Oh. You know, if you would have told this story on Drag Race, you might have won. <laughs> Rue. I myself once. <laughs> Growing up, what was your favorite television show? Well, I grew up Mormon, so I no. I did. How do I not know this? Yeah, I was about to say eight years old. Okay. Yeah. So I was that before or after you yourself? That was actually the same year. Oh great. Busy year for you. <laughs> but I was I didn't grow up watching a lot of television. I was in that weird age range where TV was still black and white, and it was a different it was staticky. It was staticky, yeah, yeah. There were so many things that I did like, but I always liked the older shows. So I come from the time where I loved The Golden Girls when it was actually airing. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm, bitch. How old are you? I am 48. Oh, I'll be 48 in June. Yeah, how old are you? I'm 28. Really? So you're 20? 20 years older. Wow. Wow. They don't have math in the Dominican Republic? No. <laughs> it took her a little too long to say 20. I had noticed every time that I revisit this place that they make so many different improvements. Usually the host. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you are here. But speaking of amazing <laughs> things, we must yes. discuss your brilliant run on All Star 7. How mm. was that? It was uh, like writing a... That's a it sign. It was pretty much like that, yeah. That's a sign. <laughs> If a gay sign falls in the woods, does anyone hear it? Now, I must talk to you about something that actually set me off, because you said that you had been here before, mm -hmm. which we all know you've hosted Pit Stop in the past. There's yes. many people that have hosted Pit Stop. But I remember one episode where you were hosting and Bob the Drag Queen was a guest. Mm. And I believe you asked a question of whether or not, <laughs> you know where I'm going with this, you whether or not it was important to be pretty to be a winner. <laughs> and both you and Bob said, obviously not, look at Bianca. Oh my God. Rotted! Uh, <laughs> if anyone has proven that you can win Drag Race without being pretty, it is Bianca Del Rio. <laughs> Rotted! <laughs> Would you like to tell the people that are watching right now a little bit about that, a little backstory on that? Oh man, I feel really cornered right now. Yeah, you should. Uh, I would like to apologize. Oh, don't apologize, I thought it was genius. <laughs> what I thought was so funny is that I'm sitting there watching Bob. She looks like Grimace from McDonald's. <laughs> Google it. It's one of those, she's got the nerve to call anybody else ugly with that busted ass face and lack of style herself. <gasps> But we're all friends, so it's all good. No, I thought it was genius, and the way that y'all did it together. I mean, the funny thing is, neither one of you were really funny. So it was nice <laughs> to see you both in unison make it work. You're not ugly. It's just fun to 
pick on you and like, you know, you're gorgeous. Oh. In some cultures. This is why you lost. You're a horrible actress. You're a horrible <laughs> actor. My anxiety is at <laughs> is really, really high right now, and I'm gonna see what's in this cup really quick. Yeah, just drink all of it. Might help, yeah. Make sure you drink all of it. That's the special Raja cup, isn't it? Mm. Okay, better. Okay. Um, what were you talking about? It's working. All right, are you ready to dive into this? I've got my scuba gear. <laughs> Let's do it. Have you been enjoying the season so far? I really enjoyed it. There's a lot of interesting characters. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have my Sanderson sister moment. Mm -hmm. I'm going to siphon off their life force okay. because all of these people, all these queens are baby. They are. Don't, don't you feel old watching the kids? I feel older. I hope that I get to know specifically which one is sugar and which <laughs> one is sugar. Are you I kidding me? Because I don't know the difference. Are you kidding me? What's you the difference? You can't look at those two and tell me which one is sugar and which one is spice. Am I crazy? Mama. Uh, which one's sugar? Basically, I fall right in the middle of both of your opinions and you're both wrong. Thank you, Jinx. And, and, and twins. Remember that commercial? No. And twins. Well, Do you me... remember it now that she said it again? Nope, repeat it I one think more it was time. A, it was a beer commercial and they were like, and twins. I think it's awesome that the two of them grew up with each other. Um, Most twins and do. And you, fair. Do you think that there's a stronger competitor here? Do you think that it's sugar or do you think that it's spice? I think that I like spice more, mm. like in terms of cooking. Okay. In my own kitchen. Got it. I don't yeah. really have a big sweet tooth. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going off my gut here. Yeah. Saying I'm gonna go with the savory option. Got it, interesting. Can you tell I'm not on TikTok much? Can you tell I don't give a sh <laughs> I've had a hard time figuring out which one is which. And that's not a bad- well, Sugar's always really pink and feminine. And Did you get that? And then spice is kind of like rock and roll, right? And I don't know. Sugar isn't all pink? Yeah. 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 So sugar's like exactly how it would be like, right? Spice is a little spicier. Uh-huh. A little rough around the edges. And then sugar is like, um, you know, like uh, Legally it, Blonde, you It's know? very tricky for me because all white people look alike. Well, I do think they're both very gorgeous. Well, of course, that they're young. You're not a twin, or were you? No, I feel like I could have almost been a twin, though. How was that? Because my mom thought all of us were gonna be girls and all of our names was gonna be Desiree. So I feel like maybe there was a Desiree inside and I just ate her. And that's why I'm just so the way that I am, you know? Yeah. Like on the spectrum of just, you know, the umbrella of queer tea. But anyway, I did want to say one thing about having a twin. That would suck, because I got my nose done and my face kind of rechiseled. Like, if my twin just went, like, granola route or something, and, yeah. like, that would have been f***ed up. I would have been like, now you're just, like, exposing me. Just stay six feet away from me, you know? So wait, what was the question? I don't remember. I tend to do that a lot. Okay, let's go back. They're doing it in seven and seven. So we're mm. getting broken up into two little bonus snatch games. But not only is it 14 girls, like, one of the personalities is doubled. So you got to, like, <laughs> you got to maneuver. One of the personalities? Because there's twins. Oh, there's yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I got like, that, yeah. It's just a lot to walk into. It is. It is. <laughs> Did you think anybody was struggling? Be on and don't worry about the comments that are gonna follow this. I don't give a f Neither do I, but tell us what you thought. Oh. I would say Virgin Mary. Didn't it seem forced? Yeah. I thought it was just so loud and <laughs> that's coming from me. Like yeah. It didn't seem in the moment and it didn't seem like a clear thought. Yeah. You know? It was like this chaotic thing about Mary is a whore. Not that exciting. The outfit was cute, but sure. it's, like, it's like playing darts and trying to hit a 15. Yeah. Agreed. And you never hit the 15. Mm. But you have a jar. Now group two, seven more gals. Yeah. We've got Lucy is Joan Rivers, Sasha is Jan Crouch, Jax is the Mona Lisa, Sugar is Trisha Paytas, Amethyst is Tan Mom, Spice is Miley Cyrus, and Aura is Bretman Rock. Oof. Some choices there. Choice. Choice. Says. Execution. The execution. Mm -hmm. Then it becomes, wow. <laughs> you did that. <laughs> you did that. You did all of that. You did that. My favorite thing to tell someone when you go to a show and it's uncomfortable or it's bad, you go, you, you. No one does it like you. No one quite will ever. Mm, it's not a compliment. <laughs> it's just a fact. <laughs> Two ones that were most polarizing were Trisha Paytas and Miley Cyrus, and they were the most underwhelming ones out of the whole group for me. So, so you hated them. <laughs> Hate's a strong word. You f hated them. I f 
despised them. Well, um, when I heard that Trisha Paytas was gonna be played by Sh Sugar, um, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I thought it had pretend. Oh, I bit my tongue. Trisha Paytas should have had a big pizza box. Yeah. She should have kept plugging her adult website. Yeah. She should have had toilet paper in her butt. Yeah. She should have had like all of these. <laughs> you know what's funny? You basically described me. You basically <laughs> described me just now. I'm even gonna bother to ask you who you hated because we know who it was. Who? Sugar and Spice. I love Sugar and Spice. Um. So who did you hate on the runway? Probably Sugar and Spice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> About the lip sync you liked? I liked that they fell. Spice is better for the diet than sugar is, so. I mean, do you think they got rid of sugar because she fell? No, I think they got rid of sugar because... You hate her. No! Because yeah, she picked Trisha Paytas to do Snapchat. Okay, got it, yeah, 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 yeah. It's all about choices, yeah, I agree, I agree. She's the designer, and the other one is the one who actually constructs the clothes. Do you think that she's in over her head? Oh, absolutely. And she joined the ship well, with I mean, Amethyst? Let's be real, she's already... <laughs> She's already over, like in over her head because of losing her sister. Yeah. Let's, you know. Let's take a moment. Let's, so let's take a moment. Let's take a moment. God save the queen. All right, Brooklyn, it's time to get into La La Perusa. Mm -hmm. All right, so they're told to wear Lip Sync Assassin drag. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't know what song you're singing, how the hell do you know what to wear? Something comfortable, something stretchy always. What I would do is I would do, I love a cat suit, so I would do a cat suit, but I would do a cat suit with a skirt over. Ooh, so, to be a reveal. Yeah, but like if yeah. you're doing a ballad, then you have a, a little something. Uh huh. Yeah, because it's weird doing a ballad in a cat suit. Of course. Yeah, but then if you're doing a dance number, you whip it off and <gasps> a reveal. No one saw it coming. No one saw it coming. Nice chooses. Do You Wanna Touch Me by Joan Jett. What'd you think of the lip sync? Oh, well, that's the song I would have chosen. Of course. Because I wasn't allowed to choose Celine of Dion. Listen, you can't have everything you want. I guess not. You're in Canada. You already have health care. Shut up. That's fair. Because nobody wants a lip sync against Anitra and Sasha Colby. Yeah. No, no one does. And what's crazy, this sets it up for Anitra and Sasha Colby. <gasps> You know every gay in that bar was going, ah! I'm this, so excited. This, I know, this is what Drag Race was about. Like, Ooh. I was like, Ooh. I mean, my hole was sewing buttons. I thought this is the best Your moment. Your was so, Just, let's unpack that. It's a visual. You had to, who would you choose to go against? Pepper. Pepper? Yeah. Who is Pepper? <laughs> Wait. From this season, who is Spice? Oh, Spice! I was like, bitch, I'm like, Pepper. I'm Everyone like, else got it. Literally, I'm like, who the f <laughs> Don't introduce a new name to me, because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who's who. I was calling her NutraSweet. I was calling her Sweet and Low. I don't. So, Spice is who you're talking about. You would pick Pepper. <laughs> you can't say Pepper. It's gonna f everything up. Alicia's Ball, once again, is chosen, and this time she chooses Spice. Now, do you think that was a better choice than Marsha? Yes. Okay, but this is what's hilarious about this moment, is that she goes and picks Spice, because everybody thinking Spice slash Pepper is yeah. the worst, and they're all thinking they're gonna win over this bitch. <laughs> but now, Spice gets to choose the song. Spice has a strategy. She's gonna pick the song by Camila Cabello, mm -hmm. because she thinks Malaysia Foxy Brown doesn't know the words. <laughs> Which, it, well, whatever her name is. But you know this is a good strategy, because you're thinking, she doesn't know the words, so she could come in and win it over. And then, Come to find out, she doesn't know the words. Spice slash Pepper does not know the words herself. I was, what the is this? Was gagged. Oregano really thought she did something. She there. really did. Paprika and, had no idea what was going on. <laughs> and yeah. she came in. Peppercorn was gagging herself. Oh, please. Cinnamon needs to stop. And then it got really awkward. And shockingly, Malaysia Foxy Brown wins. Um, I, yeah. You thought so? You thought she was better in that moment? Uh, yeah. That one, I, that one I did. Okay. Like, Clove really did not do it for me that time. She did not. Yeah. Yeah, it's tricky. But she tried, though. She did the, when she did the conga line. Like, well, she's God just- less garlic powder, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> she's just, like, there's something so lovable and, like, innocent. Endearing. Endearing, because like, she doesn't really know what she's doing in this realm of drag. Yeah. But she's trying her best. She's, and she's having And she's having fun. Time for a twist. Yeah. This means Bruno chooses Anitra's ball, giving Anitra the power to automatically save either Jax or Spice. This is a moment. Now, this has either, never been done before. No, and you can be a bad bitch and send your competitor, which I would say Jax is on a level of performance mm -hmm. that Anitra is used to, that she could easily say, you get the mm -hmm. and just mop the floor yeah. with pepper, Spice. 
But she doesn't do that. She actually sends Spice back. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? I think I have a lot of respect for her for that. I do too. I like, she absolutely could have picked Chili Flakes and just yeah. kept her. Yep. But she, she she did the right thing. I think yeah. she did the, she, I think it shows integrity. And did you see how happy Onion Salt was when she went backstage? Oh my God. Cumin was so happy. She was. And just like playing with her hair and like, what's happening? And like, I, love, I loved it. It was great. You're the type of girl that just wears socks during sex, don't you? Why? Just asking. Socks? Well, it just seems like you would. Like you don't have time to take it all off. You're like, like mm, and get out of here. Capizio socks? I mean, I wear orthopedic socks. I'm just asking, do you just put on socks and then just like, I'm done? What are you, why, why, why are you asking me that? I didn't read anything online. What are you talking now. about? You're nervous. I have no idea. Wait, what? I didn't know socks was going to be triggering. Where did this come from? Where am good. I? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Wait. Why is, this, she's nervous now. Oh, I'm scared. I, I don't know. I just. What does that entail? It, I just meant that you would probably just not want to be bothered. You'd want to just get it over with so you would keep your socks on. I'm a is, pillow princess. Is there some sure. secret sock syndrome that you have? I don't know. It's triggering it. Don't f mention socks again. All right, weirdo. Do you wear the sneakers when you're when you're having sex? Why keep people people keep talking about these sneakers? I have no idea what you're talking about. I just had foot surgery, so I'm wearing as what we call an orthopedic drag shoe. I have no clue as to what you're talking about. Who are you going? Mm, look at this bitch. You know what? I think uh, what was this lady's name? Which one? Exactly. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> you better. <laughs> Chicago. I love it. You have to come visit. I would gladly come visit. plenty of room for you. I would gladly come and visit. And I need help organizing, and you're the queen of organization. I would so. love to organize you. That would be the best thing to do. <laughs> I, I'm all about it. I've rearranged I, I, my guts already, but now I've rearranged my house. I mean, it was one night we were both drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what was crazy is that when I had sex with Detox, because I like to play things safely, not only did I wear a condom, but I sent a canary up in her asshole to make sure the coast was clear. It's true. And what was crazy, I sent the canary a black <laughs> crow. Out. And we get to the runway where the theme is rip her to shreds. What do you think of this category? I think it's a, the, a new category. It we is. Never had this before, so mm -hmm. very exciting to see who's gonna bring it. Now, if you had to follow the theme of rip to shreds, what would you wear? Paper. Paper? Uh -huh. As in like newspaper or like brown paper or like white paper? Any kind of paper. I think like, you know, shredded paper yeah. and then make like a whole garment out of it. I think that'd be cute. Yeah, you just we'll explained see. nothing. But I followed you. I followed you. Thanks. Yeah. There's no shredder in Vietnam, Bianca. Oh, f there's nothing in f Vietnam. Not a god thing. No. No Beyonce. No Beyonce. No shredder. No, no socks. socks. Whole theme here. This is the one time I think the theme is working against her. Mm -hmm. And she's wearing makeup. The bitch got makeup on now. What'd you think of it? It's like, Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <sighs> yeah, I'm hearing you. I have to agree. Yeah, that's what it is. So excited, because I don't do character makeup. Mm. You don't? Watching all the other girls. You don't. No. You don't. No. Just chapstick and eyeliner. Some of us don't have to do all that. I'm only doing this because I'm in the witness protection program. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we see choreography, something you're very familiar with. And we also see Mistress and Anitra seem to be struggling a bit. Did that surprise you? It did surprise me. Mistress, not so much. Mm -hmm. I didn't think maybe she was a natural mover, but Anitra, I really thought was like a trained dancer. Yeah. By the way, she's been doing these lip syncs. So to see her struggle a little bit, I mean, I kind of agreed with Miss Estides. Yeah. Just because you can kiki and kaka does not mean you can five, six, seven, and eight. Ooh, what technically is a caca? Um, caca. <gasps> oh. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> caca. <laughs> you know, caca, it's, it's... Caca! Yeah, exactly. Yeah, got it. Now, the bigger question is, do you think that Lux stole that coat? Girl. Girl, you up there being all bougie <laughs> with the coat, <laughs> and you've got the security tag still on it. That was pretty iconic. <laughs> I felt like that was something very you would do. Oh, of course I yeah, would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would Just... carry around those tags and stick them on other people's clothes. And That's then what call I would them do. out for and it. And then call oh them out. Oh my god. That's totally me. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, it was that was a great moment. That that tickled me. That tickled me. Uh, <laughs> next, we see Leland and Orville Peck perform Built on Drag from the Rusical. Do you think Orville? is hot. I would 
do many things. No, 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 I don't mean in a sexual way. Oh. I mean hot because he's wearing a mask and can't breathe. Oh yeah, girl, of course he's hot, but also. That fringe probably smells like breath. I mean, that's a lot of work. <laughs> it's also a very long fringe. It is. It's, it's like down to his, his pubes. You should have that starting from here <laughs> and bring it down. <laughs> Might make it look so I already have it going on down here, it's braided. No. I braided it, I braid it up when I get in drag. You plait your pubes. Yes. That is talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. <laughs> it's like you got Coolio in your crotch. <laughs> ah. Okay. Is he dead? Yeah. Oh, f he just died. He died like last, like oh, last year. That's why his name came out. Okay, who's another person with braids? So you braid your pubes? Yes. Let me see. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> bitch, it looks like Stevie Wonder down there. <laughs> Speaking of Stevie Wonder, now I'm blind. Lunch <laughs> is puffer, please. They're getting very creative with this. Puffer, please. Puffer, please. Do you like this category? Yeah, being from New York City, we wear a lot of puffer coats. You have to. Winter, so, you know, I'm excited to see what the girls bring. And what would you have done on the runway? I would have done, I don't know, that's a loaded question. Well, give me your description of what you would have done. Okay, if I would have done something I would have worn an outfit mm -hmm. with puffers on it. Uh huh. And I would have walked down the runway. Uh huh. And then walked back. What? Now you see, that's how you deliver a runway look. Listen, if it's not done well, it yeah. can be misshaped. If you do like a panty in a puffer form, it can look like a diaper. Uh, why are you looking at me when you say diaper? Mm. Mm. How old are you? Uh, 58. 58, and you're 28. How many years is that? 30. You're doing good! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> All right, Miss Candy Muse, are you ready to discuss looks? Let's. Do it. Let's do it. <laughs> let it out, bitch! Okay, let it let's out! Like, wait. <laughs> you can curse. <laughs> you can do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with something that I like. Okay. Her shape is wild. It's gorgeous. It's, it's gorgeous. It's really good. Yes, it looks good. I don't like bordello shoes. Okay. But also, they only. Oh, they are you go, wearing a bordello? I am wearing them, but they go up to a size 16. I'm not a fan of this. I don't like it. I, I think it, I think the puffer coat looks like an after after thought. That's what it is. It doesn't look like it's cohesive enough for me. Yeah. I don't want to see you in a Ghostbusters remake. I don't. I don't. I don't care about that. I don't want. But see. I guess she thought, in her defense, puffer, the big puffy thing in Ghostbusters. Oh. Are you just getting it now? Okay, I like it now. Okay. They'll fix this in post. They'll fix this in post. <laughs> Just didn't like the outfit. I liked the bitch, but I didn't like the outfit. But she turned it with that lip sync. I need you to help me here, because I feel like I'm being a little harsh. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, is there anything that you liked about the outfit to buffer this moment? You know what? I liked the construction of the coat. It was like a, 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 a B. Ooh, 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 that was good. The construction. Because uh, you're saying something, but you're saying well, nothing. You know, no. <laughs> the little B, like a little, a little um, a hornet, if you will. Yes, uh, if you will, a hornet. The silhouette gives me hornet. <laughs> I like the silhouette. Yeah, I got it. Cool. Can you spell silhouette? C. <laughs> Costa Rica school system. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Selena Estiri. No. Esti. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. No sugar coated. So there's nothing redeeming no. about the look. Nothing. And then she lives. The jacket up. Uh -huh. It has Cheetos in her. <laughs> no. You've never had Cheetos in your. I got Cheetos. Okay, but I'm looking at this look, and I gotta say, it's not my favorite look, and I do struggle with her. I think the taste level is questionable sometimes. You know, like when she like made her outfit in the Janelle Monae lip sync yeah. that moment. I thought she looked great. I thought it was an ugly <laughs> outfit. I thought it was ugly. I hated that outfit more than I hate this one. No, I don't like this because she bought this from home. What? Lux to all London. I like this. What I found funny was the description. Jackie O okay. was her description. I'm getting more Fifth Element. I mean, I get the pillbox hat, which is like the little nod to Jackie O. Oh, Did God, that, that is so little. I can't even see that. <laughs> I thought it was an OK look. Uh, she seems to like pink a lot. Um, it's I like fine. It. I it's like fine. the color pink on her skin tone. Like I yeah. said, it's very Fifth Element. Yeah. It remi I know exactly what it reminds me of. Please tell us. Season 13, mm -hmm. episode four, mm -hmm. the back ball. Mm -hmm. Simone's executive look. But let me ask you this. She's also been accused of using a lot of looks that look similar 
to think, though, that people have already warned. Girl, it's okay. You know why it's, it's... You don't think it's a problem? No, because I'm screenshotting a lot of y'all bitches stuff and sending it to my designer. But what? <laughs> I'm having this dress made next week. Oh, you are! Mm -hmm. It's All you gotta do is just take a bolt of fabric, wrap it around the refrigerator, and put a zipper. That's literally what this is. Let's talk looks, Miss Lagonde. Looks, honey, looks. L-E-W-K-S, looks. Let's look at looks. First up, we have Miss Lucy Laduca. This was your favorite. I hated it! <laughs> Stop, Miss Selena Estides. So we had different opinions on this one. You liked the glove, didn't like the bodysuit. I liked the bodysuit, didn't like the glove. We're done here. Next up, we have <laughs> Sasha Colby. <laughs> That was funny! I think we cleared- And real! We cleared it up! <laughs> you want more elaboration? <laughs> and finally, Miss Sasha Colby. Ah, uh, I just think this is one of the most innovative looks. Mm -hmm. She took a glove and she made it an entire outfit. And I love the way she served it with these high leg boots, giving me ready to go to the, to the field and batter up. It, it's also giving me this like Pocahontas approach, which okay, I really yeah. enjoy. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. You had said that, I see that, I yeah. see that. I thought she looked gorgeous and I love the, the makeup. The only thing I would have changed is the makeup. You didn't like the makeup? No, I thought the makeup really worked in the challenge as the oh. Tina Turner freak inverter. Uh -huh. But I just felt like for here, it was a little harsh. I would have liked to have seen something a little softer, mm. just because I think the outfit is giving that tough armor exterior. So mm -hmm. I just would have liked, you know, a little bit more soft glam. While you're here, can we say Tina Turner Frankenfurter one more time? Tina Turner Frankenfurter. Tina Turner Frankenfurter. Tina Turner Frankenfurter. Tina Turner Frankenfurter. We're gonna do a remix of that. Period. Fierce. Tina Turner Frankenfurter. Tina Turner Frankenfurter. Tina Turner Frankenfurter. Tina Turner Frankenfurter. Period. Fierce. Crumbs. Not my favorite. Left crumbs for me. What? Left crumbs in the bed. Like the kids are saying like, oh, she ate and left no crumbs. Oh, that's what the kids say. Yeah, that means like, oh, you ate girl and you, she left crumbs. She left crumbs. She so left, it's a crummy situation. It's a crummy in the bed situation. Watching the Channel 11 news. <laughs> Don't wanna. Love the drag look. I'm not crazy about this cage. It kind of looks like she got caught up in the set of Phantom of the Opera. I'm not happy about it. Yeah, same. Cage could have been done better. Could've... Or taken off. I was just going to say, take it off. Yeah. Or execute it better and put it back on. <laughs> Beautiful queen, though. That face. Oh, she's fabulous. Beat. Yeah, the cage is not caging. No, it's not. Mm -mm. It's the way to say things. The cage is not caging. Yeah. My crumbs are not crumbing. Yep. My toast is not tasty. No. Well. Well, no, because, yeah. You know, we'll give that one to you. Cohesive, I must say. What are your thoughts? I love it. I think she looks sexy. The silhouette is on point. Yep. She looks slimy and grimy and beautiful. Her eyes look like Bigfoot just in them. So you would say her silhouette is silhouetting. Her silhouette is silhouetting. Work, mama. It's I can't wear white anymore at my age. <laughs> Well, you haven't been a virgin for quite some time. No, I just can't produce fluid. Anyway, the point is, She's I think incontinent, it's incontinent, Dela. It I will say I am tired of seeing splits. Oof, yeah. I know that they love it, and I know that you can do the splits. I don't need to see a split every time. That's why I not stopped every, doing it. Not, I stopped well, doing it's it. because of the toes, really. Yeah, I stopped doing it, yeah. Relax those toes. Too much fluid in my feet. I can't do it anymore. They're still, yeah, you gotta build a scar tissue up first so it doesn't move around. Look at you, you know it. I know. Oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's only had topical work. <laughs> By a blind man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at her tapping her toes, because I can't. <laughs> Rude! I'm disabled. I see you're wearing shoes today. Yay. I am wearing shoes. I'm actually, I don't know if you've heard, but I actually had some footwork. I heard. Yeah, and now I moved into heels again, so I actually okay. feel somewhat human. Can I see your toes? I'll show you after, off camera, girl. We got a toe Anybody reveal. asked you that? Yeah, we got a toe reveal coming out. Oh! You know how many people have actually sent me messages and said, you really got your toes done? Like, they think yeah. I did get them. You didn't? No, I didn't get them plumped, but I had surgery. But people will believe anything. <laughs> Next thing you know, they're gonna say, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> so then we find out that this week's winners is Mistress Isabel Brooks. Do you agree? Our winner. Oh, right, she did, yeah, she did. Our winner from the challenge. Yeah, I was Mistress like, for some reason I Isabel, your friend. <laughs> oh my God, Mistress Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte, are you ready to get into this? Yes, ma'am, let's dive in. Let's do it. All right, so. We now know that they're going to get wet during this photo shoot. Now, do you think <laughs> the key to this is pretending is it, as though the water's not there? If they play there. their cards right, they're going to get wet during this photo <laughs> Well, Bruno's there. Uh, hello. Get how tall RuPaul is. RuPaul is a big 
bitch. It's like this. Did you just call her Rutal? <laughs> oh, I did. Rutal. Yes, honey, you are so Rutal. <laughs> Oh, honey, consider oh. that stolen. <laughs> we apologize. <laughs> Next we have Mistress Isabel Brooks. Ooh. Genius. Baby, Look, it was a moment. That First of all, I'm pissing myself. All right, puppets that are Kelly and Michelle. This Tina Knowles original gown, I think it's brilliant. Look, she looks good. I'm glad that somebody thought to do Destiny's Child era B. Uh -huh. But then also not forget about the girls. I really wanted her to lip sync and see what happens with those puppets. <laughs> Only imagine for that they lip sync. Can you imagine? This drag trend I'm curious your thoughts on. Which one? This like hair that moves in the back, but like a sculpture kind of thing. Took a on it on the top. Okay. Normally, I like because I'm into scat. Mm -hmm. But though on a <laughs> kidding. Anyway, I I like uh, I'm not a fan of the hair sculpture wavy glittery tips thing that people have been wearing now because there's some people that do it really well and some people that don't. And I also don't like this glamorized mullet. That's what it really kind of looks like, where you have all this business going on in the front and then a little party in the back. Mm -mm, not a fan of it. Because we know that the girls in the salon aren't asking for that. No, it's just not, it's not my favorite look. I've never been a real fan of people who kind of stick to a signature makeup. Don't get me wrong. You have a signature makeup, but what happens is you change it according to your wardrobe. This, to me, should have been one of those moments where she kind of altered the shape, yeah. but change it all to beautiful, warm, bronzy earth tones. Absolutely. Take me to Take the me on Casbah, a journey. honey. Take yes. me on a trip here. Yeah. Right now, it looks like you've got this gorgeous, you know, world traveling, fantastic, exotica. <laughs> Dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just went on a trip. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mariah, are you ready to get into this? I'm ready to slide all the way in. Oh, you better do it. Luke? No, I like it dry. With a little bit of spit. Have nightmares? Do I have nightmares? Have you ever had nightmares? Yes, I've had nightmares. Are you crazy? Okay, just checking. Um, but yeah, Beautiful Nightmare was very gorgeous. Loved it. It was giving pink and black. I couldn't wait to see what come down the road. Okay. I couldn't see what came down the runway. I couldn't see? <laughs> What I can't stand is that here it was Sasha was living in her moment of winning yeah. the challenge, and this bitch, I won too. I, 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 yeah. Shut the fuck! Nobody talking to you about you. And then to make Damn. matters worse, you got Marsha, Marsha, Marsha coming yeah. in with her now talking about she thought she was gonna be in the top, and then they're always fighting for second place. Who fights for second place? Well, who? I, now, who do you think was in second place? Since apparently that's really an important conversation with these girls. Girl! Who was it? I have to say it. No, I'm curious to ask you this. So, in this moment, do you think, because it's a hot topic with everyone, do you think it matters I, if. No! 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 It doesn't, no! No! It doesn't, why does it matter? Does it matter? No! No! There they were in a group challenge. And I guess the question I have to ask you is, how do you feel about group challenges? On 13, we had a lot of challenges. Yeah. So you come to this competition to be your own person. Yeah. So when you have to rely on three other bitches, it's like, girl, come on. But sometimes I will say this, it's good because if the group up, you can be like, well, she was the leader. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And blame it all on the next bitch. It's all about blaming people, isn't it? Mm -hmm does look good on her and it is well done. Remember when our stomachs look like that? <laughs> <laughs> you almost kept a straight face. Yeah, I almost kept a straight face. <laughs> oh, but I can't do anything straight anymore because I'm a big old. The twist. The twist. The twist. They oh. love a twist on Drag Race. They do. And I gotta say, kudos to them for making this episode completely different than every other episode. People are gonna shit themselves. I hope so. I hope so. Oh, by the way, speaking of shitting yourself, did I ever tell you the story about Candy Muse in the Dominican Republic or Costa Rica, one of the places? No, but did I ever tell you the story about Heidi in Closet in a parking lot in Glasgow? Are you kidding me? Yeah. How? There's no bathrooms available. That's a challenge. I know. That's in a Glasgow. Drag Race challenge. <laughs> now, <laughs> on the runway. <laughs> on the runway. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Now the time has come <laughs> for you to for you <laughs> to <laughs> well some some of those lip syncs. <laughs> well you're like oh, well they definitely got their <laughs> on that runway yeah. some of those outfits. Vivacious and Arnasia, a familiar face. I was so excited. I was so happy. Only to reveal who Ariana I mean, Grande. I know, and what a disappointment yeah, when you're yeah. assuming it's Vivacious. Exactly. I mean, who is Ariana? Okay. Of this group, Sasha was my standout. Okay. That's my highlight. What about Aura? After seeing the challenge, I don't think Aura was as bad as she thought she was gonna be. Mm, 
Okay, that's a very polite way of saying something. Uh, no, I think she got through it. Well, she a very got polite it. way of saying nothing. I mean, really? Did you think she was good or not? I'm um, gonna have to say not. I thought she was adequate. Mm, okay, but for her? For her, she was good. Okay, got it. For her. For her. For who? For her. For who? Her. For what? For why? For her. She left crumbs. Her. Oh, crumbs. We had a whole discussion about crumbs. I'm well aware now. I brought a little Hoover to sweep things up. I don't want no crumbs being left here. Yeah, I'm kind of like Beyonce. I woke up like this because I passed out like this from the night before. It's like having sex with somebody ugly. You just close your eyes, wish it well, and do the deed. Or sometimes eyes open is fine. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they probably f it from the back, so they're not even looking at you unless you got eyes in the back of your head. That's a whole nother Girl, thing. you should have seen me last night. What happened? Ooh. Oof. Girl, I was head over business. Mm. Oof. Now the later. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what, what's scary is that we're in the same hotel and they told me, I don't know, it's construction. <laughs> That's what I thought I heard. I don't want Robin to turn into those morning birds that you forget that are there because you hear them so much. They're just like yeah. background noise. We can't wait, have wait, 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 when are you awake in the morning? I'm gonna change, the I was married now. To what? Color purple. Oh yeah, I know the <laughs> reference, but I meant who married you? It was just so funny. The whole thing really worked out well. So funny. Yeah, I liked it. Have you ever tried that? No, that? Like no. to get like where you want to go? What the f did you just say? No, I haven't. Have you tried it? No, we could try it together. Let's do it. Okay. One, two, three. We're still here. Yeah, weird. My knees hurt from my season, but it wasn't from all that nogi. It was from sucking Michelle Visage's Wow. Yeah, that was a lot. That's how you won, huh? She's shorter than me. Oh. Takes a lot. On your knees, or were we just hovering the whole time? I was on my knees. I was oh. hovering after. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> God, you did do All Stars 7. Yeah. How was that experience for you? It was sickening. It was so, I think the best part about it all was like meeting the girls. Because like, again, I won during the pandemic, so yep. a lot of them I didn't have the chance to meet. And then it's and how like, lucky you, you met Raja before she died. Oh, yeah. well, she's still alive. Well, not technically. She's dead. I mean, she's moving. Her spirit. She's dead inside. Her spirit is dead. Yeah, <laughs> I, I hear it's very holy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Aura was in trouble when she started doing the duck walk, or as, or as Aja quotes it, noging. The, no. Yeah, I was like, ooh, Molly, you in danger. I was not doing that dance right now. <laughs> Stop it! They gonna Stop it! Line, They're going to come for you with the Nogan moment. Miss Aja is going to come and get, and you saw Miss Aja post it. To quote Aja, not every drag performer is an entertainer. Whatever Which is that means. funny, if you look up the word performer, it's to entertain. So she's working on it. She's working on it. Yeah. <laughs> she's working on it. What did you think of Sasha? Did you think it was good? I like Sasha. I mean, I have such a love and crush for Sasha, so she could do no wrong for me. Yeah. She's kind of like the most gorgeous drag queen ever on steroids. Like when you watch her perform, I love it. Now, would you say she's your number one or number two? Well, she is the sh I probably would have chosen country. Country, I agree. I would have chosen country as well. I Big like hair, corn fed, fringe, and it's the one time it's safe to f your cousin. Well, not if you live in Louisiana. You do that all the time. Do <laughs> you sure. remember how we first met? I know your memory of when we first met. My memory was because I was hired to do the the, the premiere party that was mm -hmm. happening for season five in New York City. So basically they wanted someone that was not affiliated with Drag Race at the time. So all the press tables were set up for each queen is at significantly different tables and the press is going up and discussing things with them. And I'm walking in with my suitcase trying to get backstage. This one beelines directly to me. She's like, hey girl, can we get a drink? I said, well, do you, don't you have to do press? I don't win. And walked with <laughs> me to the bar and we had a drink. <laughs> you are truly one of my favorite people. And I'm only saying that because it was written on this card. But I thank you for spending your time, your energy, and most of all, your wisdom with all of us this afternoon. In fine print, thank you so much for having me. It says it on the card. Thank you so much. It literally says it on the card. I said thank card. you, now get the yeah, out exactly. of here. In a mimosa. I kinda do. You wanna be in one? Yeah. What, are you gonna drink your way out? Yeah, vitamin C, bitch. When you die? Well, we're gonna go one way or another. Do you think this is the end of Lucy? No. Okay. Let me tell you this. Tell me what. I once saw a movie mm -hmm. when someone died and she came back as a phoenix. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you gotta lose some challenges mm -hmm. to drive you mad. Mm -hmm. 
and then you die on the sidewalk and rise as a phoenix. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what's happening in a couple of weeks with Lucy. Mm. Okay, Raya, I want to do something that I've been wanting to do this entire season of Pit Stop. Turn it's it off. Oh. No, it's called Uncross My Leg. <laughs> what was I thinking? Who? Ah! Girl, let it breathe. Ah! I, I felt the breeze. Let me tell you, don't get your toes pumped and keep your legs crossed. It's quite problematic. You know what helps me? What? My long toe. My second one is a little longer. It gives me that extra support and balance. You're going to bring up the length of a toe knowing that I just had mine done. Well, hey, I have to have something on you. Hopefully not that toe. Oop. What did you think of Sasha's Pamela Anderson barbed wire look? Living! Gorgeousness! Yeah. Gorgeousness. Living! Mm hmm Absolutely beautiful. My God. As the kids yes. say, living mama, no crumbs. Whatever that was, yeah, you know. Anitra! What do you think of this look? Um, I like this. Okay, stop. Once you start with, um, <laughs> that means you hate it. I like it in theory. I think the wig is too small. If it's not gonna be a kitty cat wig, it looks like she's trying to do a lot. Wait, 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 wait. You yes. are telling someone that they need a bigger wig. You, Monet Pussycat Wig Exchange, is saying your wig is too small. Let's just talk about your pussycat wig, your court reporter wig, uh -huh. your daytime apparel wig, uh -huh. <laughs> your Zoom wig. That wig. That, no, that bitch, that's my Zumba wig. I that, Zumba, Zumba. Yeah, it's because it don't get in your mouth. <laughs> Hello, exactly, that. girl. <laughs> well, you know, first of all, those wigs are from a place called It's a Wig. That's literally the brand of the wig. Wait, it's, <laughs> it's called It's a so, Wig. So, Sometimes the jokes write themselves. It's a wig. It's a wig. And I have it in, in 627, I have it in 613, I have it in 1, I have it in 1B, and I have it in 4. You have got a plethora of it. It'd be really funny if the company was called Shh. It's a wig. <laughs> Should we make it? Let's make it. Shh. It's a wig. So wait, so you've got it in all colors. All colors. All colors. And when what makes you say, mm, today's the day to wear that tiny little wig on my big man face? When I want to feel like a woman. That wig makes you feel like a woman. Like a feel like a woman. <laughs> that is the tiniest little. And what of it, honey? It's glam. It's it, fabulous. Sure, sure. It looks like you're about to sell real estate. That's what it looks like. I want to open a club mm -hmm. where we sell things like chili dogs. Yeah. Just food for people that might be dancing and ex exhausted. Yes, yeah, so you want to call it Happy Bottoms. I would call because, Sloppy Bottoms. Well, I guess like, Sloppy Bottoms would be good because no matter what. But I think it would be nice <laughs> to actually give back to the community. Back to the community. Yeah. Ooh, call it Mud Butts. Yeah. <laughs> well, like my good friend Lady Bunny says, diarrhea is a water-based lubricant. Now, also... <laughs> I love strong people. Some people can push through anything. <laughs> and they really can. <laughs> Find the way. Find the way. <laughs> you just want to be alone. No, listen, I would have gladly taken the solo aspect. That doesn't scare me, but this is just the thing that I do. So I wouldn't be afraid of being by myself. And let's face it, most of my life I've been by myself. Cue the sad music. My family hates me. That was my story. Oh, Always stealing my stuff. Now listen, if this challenge would have been on season 11, okay, let's just say there was a comedy <laughs> challenge on season <laughs> 11, who would you have chosen from your season to be your comedy duo? None player? of them! Uh, Come on, one of them at least. There's gotta be one. Do you have any friends from that season? No. Oh. I think Nina, branded herself as a comedy queen. Well, most ugly queens do, yes. Damn. Yes, yes, yes. Sing the fun of it, but they were definitely adequate. Yeah. They were. And I mean, hopefully they'll have an opportunity to shine in the next episode. Or right? not. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. It is a lot of pressure, and they could be setting her up, mm. Um, mm. but I don't think so. I mean, that's how I won the acting challenge on my season, is that they said, oh, here, give her all the lines, give her all the stuff to memorize, make her the lead role. That's a lot to handle. It is. But then when you do well in the lead role, then you win the challenge. So I think it's a good thing for her. I never thought I'd say this. I like your opinion, Scarlett. Oh my god, thanks, Bianca. <laughs> do you like the pit crew being the contestants in the Snatch Game? Uh, for sure. It's cool to see the pit crew speak. No. Oh, I never really thought about that. No, because it, I'm not like listening it, to them talk. I'm looking at them. I'm just looking at them, you know? But it's like seeing a teacher at a school shopping, like they say on Mean Girls. It's like, oh, cool, they talk. Yeah, they do.
When they learn that. Queens are like a gas that way. We'll fill whatever container you put us in. So you give us 40 minutes to get ready, we'll find a way. You give us four hours to get ready, we'll take every last minute of that four hours. The last thing I want to do is look at myself for four hours. I can't be bothered. I like to get it in, get it out, but I feel the same way about sex. Do it, pop, go, moving on. Bianca, none of us want to look at you for four hours. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> that was your choreography, wasn't it? Because I could spot the Del Rio choreography. I cannot believe you're calling me out Girl from this. a mile away. You know it. You know my work. That is my work. I was in rehearsal with Come on, with do it with me, girl. Yeah. The cake, cake and, and candy. candy at your cake, shoulder. Cake, cake and, and candy. candy. And cake. cake. Girl, we did a remix. That was fierce, though. We did a pit stop remix. That was fierce. We don't really have big noses. It's only because of cocaine. It's that's just like, yeah, it. just swelling. Swelling. Really, yeah. Yeah. Years of straws. It is. <laughs> We're like those <laughs> turtles. <laughs> you know how hard it is to find a straw now to do drugs? I know. Turtles. Yeah. You know what I hate is that people are like, we have to stop the straws because the turtles. What if the turtles do blow? <laughs> they live <laughs> We're for to help 200 them. years. Let the f turtle do a line. Should we do lines of turtles? Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? That'd be great. Camilla. <laughs> is she the one that said, have yourself a Merry Christmas? Christmas. Was that her? Yeah, that was oh, her. Oh, it was her. Oh, and so she's also the one in that Cinderella movie. Ooh. Can't get past it. No. Uh -huh. I watched it on a flight. It was so bad. I was oh, watching it, was it on horrible. a flight. It was so bad I walked out. That whole scene with her and Billy Porter. <laughs> I walked out. <laughs> the tape on everyone's head. No, these queens will have no hair. Everybody's gonna look like Queen Elizabeth, the first one, with their hairline starting in the middle of the, all that tape. Did you see all of that going on under the heads? I did, and you know what? I think I've seen girls do the whole thing, right? With yeah. Their tape. <laughs> yeah. Around, around. Yeah. But they normally put like a wig cap on. Something, like, something to, to protect, protect your hair. Hair. Yeah. Yeah. How's your head? Uh, pretty good. <laughs> Ass <laughs> But we'll all be talking about the queen who made a glass of ice water as a talent for forever. Sure. A talent they can't do in the UK because they don't have <laughs> they don't, any there ice. There is no ice. No ice anywhere. Sorry, honey. My husband's British, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm basically bilingual. Anitra wins. Do you agree? Yes. I agree as well? Yep. I agree as well. I thought she was the best in that game, mm -hmm. and I thought it was Jax's <clears throat> time to go yeah. home. She'd been in the bottom a couple times before. And my God, did she put up a good fight. She did. She did. She put up a good fight. Mm -hmm. Like, she really, really tried. What lip sync was it for her? Her fifth. Her fifth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, time to go. All right, book. <laughs> book. All right, book. <laughs> All right, Brooklyn Heights. Alzheimer's effects. One in Brooklyn. five. Bro, Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn Heights, the question now is, who do you think is gonna go all the way? My top four, my dream top four. And if four. you say Sasha Colby, Sasha Colby, Sasha Colby, Sasha Colby, I'm gonna kick you. I was, can you let me finish, please? Was, no, I can't let you finish. You take forever to finish. Remember, we had sex. <laughs> I know, you were so quick. Go and ahead. It was, and it was just dust. I'm on borrowed time. <laughs> we were all rooting for you, and congratulations on winning the Queen of Queens. <laughs> 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 I don't have a TikTok. Yeah. You know, I'm sure you don't have one either. I don't have one, but Alyssa and I decided today that we're actually gonna start our TikToks. We are. We're gonna get this taken care of and we're gonna start our TikToks. We're gonna be tick, 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 tickety talk. Tick, 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 tickety talk. Next up is Mistress Isabella Brooks. And here we are. Finally, we're somewhat approaching tie dye here. And for the record, let's be honest, it's probably the only queen I know that can wear purple hair successfully. Yeah, we're, we're headed in the right direction. She turned on the GPS. I, so this year's Daytona Wins, the sitcom, is featuring a lot of prostitutes and big daddies. You notice that, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think that they took inspiration from your life? <laughs> I did a little prostitution at some point in my life. Did you? A few weeks. And how was it? Did you quit on your own, or was it people just saying, stop doing this? <sighs> it was very that. It was a lot. <laughs> it was very that. <laughs> it was a lot. Of, I was like, I have to find a new career. Here we are, drag queens. <laughs> You've done a lot from your home. <laughs> I've done one from my home. You yeah, know. you won from your home. Well, for those of you who don't know, Miss Jada here was the COVID queen. She won during COVID, and I must confess, Drag Race got me through the pandemic. So it was nice to actually see you win. And it sucks that it happened during COVID, but it did bring a lot of joy to people, didn't it? Yeah, I think a lot of people stayed at home and they watched the show. That, yeah. Like, even my, my father yeah. was watching, and he called me one of the Fridays and said, Thank you for being on the show because literally for him and his wife, it was giving them something to watch. Oh, like, isn't that sweet? They didn't yes. say they were proud of you? Yeah. No, well, no. Mm -hmm. And then he followed that with, how did you win that challenge this week? Oh, I thought he was going to say, <laughs> how did you win at all? Because oh. that's what we were 
think. I, I think she does know what she's doing as a singer. This just was an off day. Listen, my singing voice, like a nightingale. Throw Ariana into the mix. Oh. <laughs> Challenging. Yeah. 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 Like a grackle. <laughs> um. <laughs> now, you recently just moved to LA, right? How's that going? It, it's going, it's going well. I think we talked about that already. Did we? Yeah. 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 These cards are out of order. <laughs> you don't know how to sew. Leave non-stretch fabrics the f alone. Ooh, that's satin. Last I episode. You, that, that's satin. I love her, but that's satin. Satin, bitch. Satin is dangerous. You know who hated her? That oh. zipper. <laughs> That's who hated her. You saw the back of that girl. Those <laughs> zip, that zipper needed a root canal. Those teeth were screaming. Yeah. It was just wrong <laughs> on every level. I have to ask the question. If you had to send anyone home, <laughs> who would it be? Oh, who would I send home? Well, it would have to be myself. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> she loves doing that. <laughs> and we love her seeing it. <laughs> Excited for this? I do love a good ball. You do. You've been known to have a couple in your mouth. <laughs> I'm a good Christian woman, honey. I have nothing to say to that. Of course you do. Because you picked the right time to flaunt your foolishness in front of all of my friends, fans, family, and folks at home. The absolute nerve. I'm a teacher and a mentor. <laughs> you talking all that foolishness. You're a ball sucking Drink bitch. Your juice, Shelby. Here we Ask are. Me the question. Yeah. How old? I'm 24. Oof, you look horrible for your age. Thank you. At least I'm young, so whatever. <laughs> I'll look whatever I look like. I'm feeling young. <laughs> Bianca, you bitch. They say black don't crack. <laughs> Unless you're smoking it. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Girl. Exactly. Look at me. Look at me. The shining symbol of success you see standing before you, sitting before you. I'm mean, gonna hear, I'm not gonna lie. I have no secrets. I have no sh to give. Everybody knows that I am 28. The next group is the Frankie Grande group, which has Lucy, Anitra, and Malaysia. So the girls have to lip sync to Queen by Janelle Monet. In front of Janelle, Janelle Monet. Monet. Who looks stunning. Truly, she is the only Monet that's pretty. <laughs> yeah, I said that. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> you got me, me you Bob got told me, me that. Bob told me that, Roberta said, yeah, say that. <laughs> Many say that their favorite episode is in All Stars when you are behind the mirror. They got me, y'all. They got you, gal. Girl, I'll never forget. Please enlighten us, tell that us. That night, my phone rang. It was my granny. She said, Justin, I saw you on television dressed up like a woman again. Oh. And I said, well, granny, you know. She said, now, while I think you were being a lady, mm -hmm. this would have been the one time I would have given you a free pass. Cause I thought you were gonna jump through that damn mirror <laughs> and strangle someone. <laughs> and I said, well, granny, I thought about it, but it was plexiglass. <laughs> Next on the runway in her Beyonce look is Miss Selena Estiris. 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 I love this look. I think it would have probably been more effective without the Rue heads. The what? The Rue heads as the Grammys. The Grammys? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Okay, this is a me kind of outfit. I thought the dress was too short, the fabric looks cheap, and I hated her hair. Damn. The Marsha Marsha on the runway. I, this is a Hanging it! Hanging it! It's just like, the color is off, I think, the, even the, the fact that there's two sleeves. Beyonce aside, it's just not my favorite yeah. look. I'll tell you this. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that she was very confident in her modeling. <laughs> she did this. You were such a liar. And finally, we have Miss Lucy LaDuca. Here it was, the one thing you could have done was have the belly. Maybe she does have the baby bump, but then she just put the corset on over it, just. So you're smothering a baby? That's uh, what you recommend. I, maybe the baby likes a tight spot. Girl, the color is not, I'm like, for a simple look, I think the simpler the look, the more important you need to pay to the details. The color, you have to nail, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're not, you know, Beyonce looking, or you're not yeah. the type who can pull off a Beyonce look, here's the moment, Beyonce had this belly, it would create, recreate the You don't the think moment. she looks exactly like Beyonce? If I close my eyes, now how do you feel about quick drag? I mean, look at me. But I've been in a dressing room with you, it takes you forever to look like this. I know, you probably, you always do, do makeup faster than me. I do, because I don't blend, bitch. Look at me. 
We look so much alike. Yeah, we do look alike. I know. I was sitting here looking at you going, oh my God, I must be gorgeous. Cause the mirror. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, the mirror of lies. Now, Plasti. <laughs> ah! What do you feel about quick drag? I don't mind it that much. You know what's crazy? I don't look much different. Whether it's quick drag or slow drag, you still get the same face. Paint by numbers. That's completely it. It's one of those weird things where I think the more time I have, the worse it gets for me. So if I have an allotted time, it's good because then I can just get it on and get out of it. You know, mm -hmm. get my face on, get the hell out. I always find when I paint faster, I always look prettier. There you go. It's always weird. Yeah, so you took your time today. <laughs> what can you do successfully in 15 Quickly. minutes? Quickly. <laughs> Girl, I don't know. At this point, uh -huh. back in the day when I was hustling, mm -hmm. when I was hustling on the streets. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Oh, I could do a lot of In 15 you minutes. You know what? I remember when Rue did this to us on season five. Uh -huh. And I got into my Real Housewives lady look. Mm -hmm. Girl, I look good. Well, you always look good. You got that soft, pretty face. It doesn't take much to make you look good. Well, oh my gosh, she's full of compliments. I am, because I want to get through this okay. interview. One that I had the problem with, which I don't even know. I'm going to say this and the kids are going to scream, but I don't know who Bretton Rock is. And mm. I'm, I don't know, and I don't mean like, I don't know. I'm not pulling a Mariah J-Lo moment. Yeah. I'm saying I don't know Bretman enough mm. to know what Bretman is all about. But I do know what Aura gave was just lackluster and uninteresting. What Bretman gives is not that. Okay, okay, um, so I would like Bretman then. Oh, you would. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's a Leo. I mean, we all love a Leo. Yeah, we do. Uh, we do, I mean, Leos are cool. Yeah, maybe. Um, You know, Leos and Libras, we light up a room. Yeah, got it. Um, but back anyway. to competition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mercury's in retrograde soon. Um, got aura! Okay, okay. Yeah, no, that had nothing to do with Bretman Rock. I didn't love it. It was giving very much like maybe Aries, not Leo. Now, first up, we see the Love Connie group, which is again Selena Lux and Mistress. What did you think? I think in this group, <laughs> it was a mess. It's one of those weird things where they didn't get the vibe of what Connie was yeah. about. And with the sit down, Selena was talking all over her and there's nothing worse than talking over your guests. Because yeah. you just, quit talking, I guess it, I'm I, talking. Yeah. Okay. The thing is that they keep talking over the yeah, guests. And, and I find that very, like, talking over the guest. And that's or the not host. the way to do it. I think if, when you have Stop an interview, I think the part about an interview in an interview, it's, it's important to each other. say what you want to say. And ask what you want to ask. Listen here. to what they're saying. Bianca. Truthfully, Jenna, yeah, I hear you. We totally there we go. on this. And I'm done. <laughs> 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 no, I need the check. Okay. Let me get back over here. Hit their marks uh -huh. when they were supposed to. Yeah. Yeah, it was, a, it was a great non-musical marching band. It was a promenade. Great. And completely <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> Listen, I if you can't follow a simple eight count <laughs> step touch, you got no business being here. Agree. Turn, turn, kick, turn. One, two, three, kick, turn. Keep it sassy, keep it classy. Keep it gay. Are you familiar with Footloose? Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Well, hello. It's on my card. I know you know oh, okay. this, but I'm trying to move it. Yeah, across. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're familiar with Footloose? Yeah, Kevin Bacon, I love. Kevin Bacon. I saw love. him once in Central Park. <gasps> and he was walking his dog and I was with my friend and I said, oh my God, that's Kevin Bacon. I said, let's not do it. Let's not say a word to him because you know, that's the thing. In New York, you run into celebrities sure, sure, all sure, the sure. time. And at the time I was probably 18 or 19. So the world was still black and white. <laughs> and I was walking in the park and I saw him and I thought, not gonna say anything. He passed me and I yelled, I love George Footloose. Yeah. Yeah, you're a dope. queer. And then he had to pick up from his dog, but that was the moment that I had. So I, I've loved him since then and he was cute. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, since I had surgery, I can't fit in another shoe. This is, all right, f it. You can't fit in that? No, bitch, I had surgery. Have you been watching Pit Stop? Well, I had to go to Guatemala to get my toes pumped. You got a BBL on your feet? Yes, bitch! <laughs> I love that! Yes! I well, can't... you could always, I don't know, ask Latrice Royale, maybe. I can borrow one of her shoes. Latrice Royale, borrow her shoe. It's an idea. It's an idea. And next week, where we're recapping another episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. Bye. Okay. How do you want me to say bye? Just bye. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay.
<laughs> Adios. Do you know that my original Snatch game was to play Dora the Explorer? Oh yes. Gosh. And then when I got there, they said you can't do fictional characters. Yeah. I mean, the devil. Oh, the devil would have been good. Yeah, but that seems pretty. No, good. but like the devil is. I mean, depending on who you ask, but it's a fictional. Character. Oh, the devil is real, honey. Oh yeah. Yeah. Not today. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. I'm picking up somebody's Grubhub order. I'll have a double double, a yeah, side of fries, right. make them dirty, Who's ordering and food? a spicy sprite. Who's ordering food? Okay. All right. So, spicy sprite. <laughs> so, of course, we now see the queens discussing which era they're in. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, though. Okay, so let's just move on from that. Uh huh. What era are you in? <laughs> The era of being over it. That's it. I think it's like a safe way of saying, okay, well now I'm gonna be a bitch. Now I'm gonna, no, just be it continuously. It was a cute joke, but it died episodes ago. It did. Let's it let did. it go. All your eras are over. Let's focus on winning. Are you talking about me? Um, no. Okay, just no. check in. Well, and speaking of eras, I gotta flip the tables. What era are you in? The Crypt Keeper? <laughs> that's, that's the one I'm in. era, that's what I'm in. Bitch. It's synthetic. I should have. I knew I should have opted for human. Oh, there's a, something about human hair. Mm -hmm. It belongs to dead people. <laughs> Sometimes the living. <laughs> That's why you get their thoughts when you wear it. Girl, I have donated more pubic hair. Damn. To Make a Wish Foundation. Okay. That's where Monet is getting all those wigs. <laughs> those little cat wigs. <laughs> <laughs> I manscape and Monet gets a new wig. Have you That's ever smelled it. her wigs? <laughs> no. Pussycat. No, wigs? they're authentic. They're pussy cats. <laughs> <Mama>. <laughs> Smell like a dead cat. <laughs> what would you have done for tie-dye? I knew you were gonna ask me this question, and I came prepared. Yes. I would wear tie-dye. She's got one hair that's looking like it's coming out of her chest. Do you see it? Come over here. It probably is, nasty bitch. Your commitment to your craft, the beauty that is displayed in that meme is something that cannot be matched. It cannot be matched. Thank you for that. You are I wasn't welcome. Expecting that. No, a compliment. Every now and then I give one. Every now and again. Every now. <laughs> and you put your good lady pop song. You have really done it up for me today. I'm doing it. I'm doing she it. She said, "Bitch, Alyssa's up at the house today." <laughs> oh, remember drink tickets? Did you ever get paid in drink tickets? Yes. Yeah. They used to tell me twenty-five dollars in cash and two drink tickets. That sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Crazy pants mm -hmm. that we actually got in drag. Did you ever get in drag for fun? Yeah. Oh, yeah. those were the good old days. I know. Those were really the good old days. Yeah. Remember, it's like, ooh, it's Saturday night, let's get in drag. And then we'd go out in drag and get trashed. Totally. Mm -hmm. And just like all the chasers. Oh, such a good time. They all wanted it. I remember when I made $200 at a show, it was big time money. Oh my God. They would give me the money in You were cash successful. In an envelope. And I would take out $40 and keep $40 in my tits and put the rest of the money up under my wig. Because okay. I knew if I got up, I would forget that the money was under my wig. And many, many years later- Weren't you worried that your wig would fall off with no, the money in it? My wigs don't fall off. Okay. But here it was, all the money was stuffed up in my wig. And then okay. many months later, a friend of mine, Darisha Jenkins, who was a friend of mine who was a drag queen, she says, we're all going to Disney World. Do you want to go to Disney World? I said, girl, I don't think I have the money to go to Disney World. She says, bitch, you better get in that room and shake them Look wigs. Look and shake your shake wigs. Shake them oh wigs and find God. the coin. Mm -hmm. I never went to Disney World though. You are actually the number one queen that has respected how long it takes me to get ready. This bitch, okay, <laughs> now you can look at her and go, all right, yeah, she's pretty. This bitch takes about 14 hours to get into full drag, <laughs> but it is well worth it. The sad thing is I take 32 minutes and this is what you get. <laughs> so there it is. Well, I mean, you're a pro. Oh, we have a beauty. It takes time. I mean, yes, it does. We recognize real. We do. We recognize the loveliness of it. But I remember when you walked over to my station, you were like, "This is the same color. Why is this the same color? Why is this All the same everything's color?" Everything's nude. Everything's Shades nude. Shades of brown. Change. Shades of hey, brown. A neon eye today. Look at that. You did good. I'm proud of you. <laughs> That'd be a great book title for you. Shades of brown. Just for you. Yeah, yeah. I could also write that about bed sheets and hotels. <laughs> have to be yourself. yourself. Even though I'm saying that as we sit here in wigs. The thing is, you have to be yourself and that is where your charm or your reality kind of comes through. Speaking of interview, didn't you have like an interview moment on season six? Oh, we did, we did. They offered us our own talk show to be RuPaul. Our special guest was Miss Georgia Holt, who okay. shares mom, and Chaz Bono, shares son. And they said also, it's a special guest that's gonna be on set. And all of these queens, these dumb bitches going, it's Cher, it's Cher. It was like a fucking owl. Ooh. I would have assumed it was no, Cher. No, bitch, the budget was spent. Maybe it's Cher's owl. Ooh. Could be. 
Could be. Ooh. Is it? Ooh. Done it. That could be Cher's vocal coach. Ooh. Um, ooh. That's me at the club when you see somebody with a big bulge. Ooh. ooh. Is that your call? Ooh. ooh. How do you feel about gray sweatpants season? Gray sweatpants season. I go, ooh, and then I never get <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got to be ballsy, literally, okay. to wear gray sweatpants. You know, you okay, really but, gotta have it together. But this is the tea, for real. Tell me. Gray sweatpants season, everybody's always gagging for the bulge. Yeah. Where are the people who are loving the cake? Well, I gotta agree with you, because you know, when Lady Bunny wears gray sweatpants, See, now I'm it out of gets that. me hot. Because, and I thought, wow, what an ass. It was a hemorrhoid. Crystal, do you like crystals? Swarovski. Of course you do. Uh -huh. Can you spell it? Uh-huh. But not today. How much time we got? <laughs> S W A R. Okay, and now <laughs> I feel like I'm at the spelling bee all over again. Little gay Justin over there at the uh, Galloway Elementary spelling bee. Because <laughs> I knew you were here, and I thought, you know what? I've got to give you something special to walk away with. Listen, you know I love to give gifts, and from the bottom of my heart, I thought this was appropriate for you. <laughs> it's from me. And I thought, you deserve this, you've earned this, okay? My orthopedic drag shoes. Take them, bitch. Take the shoes! Because if you wear these for once, they won't notice your ashy knees. They'll be looking at the shoes. There you Thanks. are. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> and sadly, in the bottom, we got Anitra. <laughs> and Marsha. Now, as soon as I heard that it was gonna be those two, I went, this is gonna be a lip sync. She's done. This is gonna be a lip sync. She's done. Marsha and Anitra lip sync to Boss Bitch by Doja Cat. What'd you think of this lip sync? It was good, huh? It's good. I was watching this and I was screaming. You yeah. saw me, I was screaming. Yeah. I think has, this has got to be one of like, top five lip sync on Drag Race, period, for me. Anitra just, you know, lay it all out there. She did lay it all out there. And look, we've seen her lip sync, as we said before, she lip synced a couple times during the Lollapalooza. <sighs> but to see her now, I was like, oh, she is in it to win a it. A performer. In it to win it. She's like, bitch, go home. The backwards dip, and then it was just so elaborate. Her tailbone, Oh, it's, gone. Yeah. Do you remember when I used to do that? I mean, I'm gonna give you a minute, but do you remember? So we're watching Miss Anitra just mop the floor with this bitch. And then she does the ultimate and she just jumps over that bitch. What did you think of that? No hesitation. <laughs> None. No hesitation. None. Her intrusive thought set, I can do this. And I'm she going. Went for it. Yeah. And I was just, ah! Oh, I was, was like, so yes! good. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Miss Marsha was like, <laughs> <laughs> she said, Look my back, man. Ugh. Do you like the theme, having teachers come in and get made over? Yes, I think I would love to make up Mrs. Ector Nam, my kindergarten teacher. Really? So that was like your one main teacher that was impactful in your life? No, I just remember her name. Oh, okay. No, I'm joking. She like, <laughs> she knew I had a crush on a boy named Brenton Cloth. Uh-huh. And she didn't judge me for it. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, it was cute. Did you have a favorite teacher growing up? I didn't go to school. I mean, didn't need it. They didn't have school back then. So what did you think of the moment when Sasha said she's actually gonna pad as well so she could match her twin? I love that she's like, this isn't for me. I've never been a fan of this, but I guess I'll pad. What I enjoy is that she's like into it. I mean, an episode ago, she was playing a male part in it and living in her fantasy. And now she's like, I'm gonna give you the boobs, I'm gonna give you the ass, and I'm gonna work it for it's all it's worth. And what's so amazing is that she's gonna also dress up this teacher as well. And I think that's the winning point. That's the whole point of doing the mirror looks amongst the two. And there's like something about like drag where even if you don't need to, yeah. doing it is just so cool. There you go. Cause you know, they're both stacked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot like me. Like an hourglass. Mm -hmm. Like the sands of time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of sand in this glass, let me tell you. So then we see Mistress, who's actually saying that she is going to create two looks for her and her teacher. I mean, do you think that's a little over ambitious to create in that short period of time, aside from getting in drag and rehearsing a number? It is very ambitious. Mm -hmm. I don't like have any doubt that she can do it. But I mean, that's a whole lot of fat work. I mean, out of the group, if anybody could do it, I think she could probably get away with it. But I'm also watching Lux in the corner with that piece of fabric trying to make some magic, and I'm thinking, mm. this when she's cutting the fabric like this. Yeah, cutting, looking every other way. Ain't that some <laughs> 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 Now, did you think it was funny when you actually saw Anitra trying to teach her teacher, teach her teacher, 
teacher, teacher, how to do the duck walk. I could never. I, I was like, girl, <laughs> that is brave. Never. That is brave. That if this poor little teacher is thinking, let me try. But she was kind of cute with that. She was very cute. She had a little booty for it too. I don't know, could you do that, the duck walk? Girl, I can barely walk up right like a normal person, much less trying <laughs> to get creative. We can't even do the human walk. <laughs> I can't do a human walk, I can't do it. I can't do any of the walks. Like I'm just thinking that, that would be hell on my legs. Yeah. Orthopedic drag shoe. Now you've never known a queen to blame it on the edit, right? <laughs> no one, right? Am I being cornered again? I'm asking. Oh my God, you're a bully. Bla well, of course I'm a bully. That's why I'm here. I feel like everyone kind of blames it on the edit. Do a they? Bit. A little bit. Is there anything in particular that you remember that you go, mm, they didn't show that part? I don't know what you mean. Roll the footage. Roll the footage. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I need like a Valium. No, That's, come on. How do I get through this. You can do this. Come on, you had <laughs> sucking skills in the 90s. You can handle this <laughs> little interview bit. <laughs> Next, we see the girls actually getting to rehearse their material in front of Michelle Visage and Ali Wong, who I love, Ali Wong. Now, do you think they're shitting themselves? Because I, I would, I would be shitting myself. Oh my gosh, absolutely. She's a funny bitch. I would be shitting balls if I was. You could shit a ball. They have that in Vietnam. They don't have Beyonce, but we got <gasps> balls. Shitting balls. I've heard about the ping pong balls. Oh. I've heard about that. Have you ever had a ping pong ball? And never mind. Remember that one time at your house? I don't want to talk about it. You can't mention socks. I'm not mentioning the ping pong ball situation. You broke a window. Bitch, when they picked that bitch up into a split. Oh! Girl. I was guffawed. I was I almost fell over my chair. And but she was holding that core. Honey. Those legs were exactly. Bitch, Honey. What's this? What's 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 flat? How many degrees is that? No, 180 degrees. That let me just tell you something. I am so glad they did not drop her because if they would have dropped her, people in China would have said, "Not again!" <laughs> Girl! We should have been a tsunami in New Jersey, girl. <laughs> yeah, it was really, 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 I was like, wow, this is impressive. That was, and she right. did that. That was one of the most natural things she did in that entire number. <laughs> she picks great colors to go against mm -hmm. her skin, I must say. I like the idea of white. Not so crazy about the dress. Proportionately, mm -hmm. there's something with that little shark tooth over there on the right that's mm -hmm. bothering me. Mm -hmm. And I've gotta say it, the thing that got me is the hairline. The little gunky lace around the top, and and the weird Gunky color. Gunky Lace is my new drag name. Gunky Lace. Let's welcome to the stage the 10 tapping toes of Gunky Lace! Make some noise for Gunky Lace. The Shakolbi. Well, tell me, what do you love about it? Bitch, I love all the encrustements mm, of the of the of the Dion Montes. The encrust. Wait, In take me back. Encrustements. Encrustements of, of the, the Diamante. Diamante. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. I think it really kind of harkens back and reminds people that Sasha Colby is part of a great heritage of pageantry here in yes. America. It doesn't kind of exist in the same way in any other part of the world. And Sasha Colby is a very revered presence in that world. I can hear that pageant music mm. now. Yes. Her hobbies include slow back. walking down the street. Do, 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 do. Other hobbies include sucking <laughs> on Thursday. Do, 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 do. You walk that way. She's a kitty cat, we all know. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I love the look. And you kind of know that they're gonna have to lip sync against each other because they've been at each other's throat for the past few episodes. And yeah. You knew this was coming. I just didn't expect Lux to be in the bottom with the looks, but she rightfully deserved to be there. So Lucy and Lux <laughs> lip sync to For the Girls by guest judge Haley Kiyoko. What did you think of the lip sync overall? I thought it was actually a really good song. Mm -hmm. A lot of elements to like play into with the oohs and that ooh, 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 like whatever. Say that again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. E flat. Ooh. E flat. <laughs> e flat. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, my voice is lower than my standards, so it's very challenging for me. <laughs> there was no competition, honey. Yeah. Now, we all know that Lux talks a big game and talks a lot of but she did deliver on that runway. I yeah. mean, I was like, all right, she took I mean, us there. She was all over the place. Mm -hmm. She ran all over the place. And my eye was with her, well, my good eye. My good eye was following her the whole way. And then it was slightly interrupted by Lucy and that little cartwheel she did. Was that a cartwheel? Is that oh. what that was? Girl, it was I couldn't tell if she was just like, um, 
ducking for cover if there was a fire in the back of the runway. So Lux, of course, takes the win. Did you agree with that? For sure. Of course? Yeah. I was shocked if Devin Malaysia won, but good for her. Good for her. No, very good. Maybe now she'll shut up on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> you, you and Malaysia. Well, you know they don't stop on Twitter. Oh, this happened to me. Oh, that happened to me. Let me explain my dress. Who cares? This happened so much this season, though. The girls would, girl, dissertation mm -hmm. on the social media about mm -hmm. their looks. And well, what really happened was, well, I was going to do this, but it happened a lot this season. It doesn't matter. It's like how lucky you had this platform. Shut the f up yeah. and don't give me the history about that ugly f***ing dress. I can see that it's historic. I can see that it's nasty, but it still doesn't fix the fact that you ain't got no taste. Malaysia, if you have been personally victimized by Bianca Del Rio, I liked her. You should call 1-800-EXCHANGE <laughs> and we'll take on your burdens, baby, and let this bitch have it, okay? It's a different kind of runway. Yes. It's exaggerated runway. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's very fluid. Mm -hmm. Her hips move a lot. Is that the key to it all? Fluidity? Yeah, I would say fluid, mm -hmm. like serving confidence eye contact, and not looking at the floor. Oof. If you can do it in like a heel that's taller than three inches. Ooh, she's a size queen. Three, long, taller than three inches. With a platform or no platform? I'm okay with platform. Okay, okay. But like, I hate this like drag race that's turned into like these like short shoes. Ooh, I don't like I did not grow up with that. Mm -mm. I don't really see that. I'm never impressed by that. Ooh. Don't give me the squatty square heel. Tell us how you really feel. Biscuits. Not for me. Got it. Got it. A tall shoe creates your walk. Yeah, I like a gluten-free heel. <laughs> gluten-free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, there's uh, something I need to talk to the public about because we have not talked about this the whole season, but since we're here at the finale, it's important for me to let everybody know. We have to give credit where credit is due, and as much praise as Sasha has been getting for all of these performances, uh -huh. I got to be upfront. I am the one who choreographed all of those numbers. That is my work. Are you serious? There's my work. It's my work. Bianca. It's my work. Wow. There You're it is. So generous. She's a fraud. You She's a fraud. Really all me. All me. <laughs> Note to everyone watching. It's six hours late today that we're starting. And <laughs> no, you ain't surprised about that. No, I'm not surprised by that. You know, I have a I have, talk to I, me. I, I, listen. Listen. I have a little bit of some kind of philosophy. Okay. I would rather show up late mm -hmm. and presentable than on time and Gut bucket rotted. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? You know, don't rush the beauty, bitch. No, 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 no. <laughs> Next, we have Mistress Isabel Brooks. I think Mistress looks great. I think Mistress has always given us this very drag, very well done, and I think Mistress looks fabulous. I think she looks great. It's kind of like a, a Mae West Miss yes. Kitty look, uh -huh. which I think looks fabulous. Yeah. I thought the fabric photographs, amazing. Yes. This liquid lame is, is absolutely gorgeous. It looks like water almost. It does. It's yeah. pretty amazing. Very beautiful. Beautiful water, and she's retaining it. <laughs> oh, she's shady. She can deal with it. Starting with Sasha, sit down with Rue and Michelle for their tic-tac chat. Mm -hmm. What were your memories in that moment when you went back to have the lunch with Rue? It really kind of feels like you're a little bit nervous, like for me anyway, because I've always looked up to RuPaul. Being around her always feels like being around a mentor, so I always feel very humbled. Yeah. Did you eat the tic-tac? No, absolutely not. I still have the original Tic Tac. It is now 13, 14 years old. How long wow. uh, since I went there? And it is now uh, black. Really? Well, it's 12 years old. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Like it's, you know, it's fossilized inside of a, a, a little Jonathan Adler container. Mm, what a beautiful story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once in a while when I feel really sad and low, I'll just take a little lick of it. And you just, do? And I just remember the good times. Aww. That's probably why it's black now. <laughs> Like my soul. <laughs> like my soul. Your tic tac size soul. <laughs> Some days on the runway, you just want to run away. I'm working on an album. Oh, God. Another bitch making an album? Do we really need it in the world? What did you think of that lip sync? I got my life. You did? I mean, it was no Trinity K. Bonet and Lagandra Strange All Star Ooh. Season 6. Wait, wait, wait. While we're talking about amazing <laughs> lip syncs from season six, do you remember? I don't know if anybody knows this, but Laganja and I had a lip sync during, can we talk about it? You're gonna. Well, I think, look, our NDAs are up, right? It's been 10 years. <laughs> okay. We can say it. Okay. There was an I mean, you remember the results, I so. Do I do remember the results because you weren't expecting this to happen, but it was a moment where we had to lip sync against each other and we lip sync to Candy. Mandy Moore. Mandy Moore! Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I wiped the floor with your ass. 
Well, that's not exactly how I remember it, but um, you know, there was definitely ass that was whooped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think there's mm -hmm. a reason they didn't show it. You mm -hmm. know, storylines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe they had that to keep it. you in the top. Oh, that's you know? what you believe in. Yeah, that's what you believe in. No, I just remember the truth. The level of delusion. Oh, the level. Back to season 15 of drama. Did we have any drama from season six, Mama? No. Exactly, I don't remember any at all. There was drama? I don't remember. Between you and I? <laughs> I don't remember drama between anybody. I just remember iconic moments. Exactly, I remember us loving each other, enjoying and uplifting each other. Yeah, I think there was like a real sisterhood there. I agree, I don't know what this card's about. <laughs> Yeah, there was lots of drama, bitch. <laughs> Tell us! You were hateful. I was and not. And I was young and dumb. No, it was not. No, I yes. was, no. You knew that if you had to lip sync against me, we you did. were going home. We did. Wow. Candy. Yeah. Candy. Yeah. I want candy. And you wanted to win, and yeah. so that's why they cut the lip sync. In hindsight, when I look back, mm -hmm. you really taught me a lot about myself. And you know, I still get, I'm gonna be nice to you for a second. I Can you believe it? I know. But when people ask me, like, are you and Bianca friends? Because you know they all yeah, do. I love to ask that, Because yeah. they, you know, rediscover the season and everything. Yeah. And it always makes me really happy to say, like, yes, we are. Like, of course. Bianca and I, it was my first time really competing in that way. Whereas, yeah. you know, you were well-seasoned. You had done this. You were prepared old, for this. Old. Well, are you ready to five, six, seven, eight? Girl, let's start the candy. Hit the track. Play the Hit the track. Hit the track. Candy. <clears throat> Well, thank you for joining me today, Raja. Thank you also for being one of my oldest, oldest friends. There's very few people that are in drag that I can say are older than me. If I'm mummified, then you are uh, uh, a bug in amber. That's me, a mm. bug in, that's a good drag name. Bug in amber. Let's welcome yeah. to the stage, the 10 tap and toes up. Bug in amber. Yeah. Make some noise. She's really old. <laughs> Alyssa Edwards, thank you for joining me here at the Pit Stop today. You are truly a legend and a beast. God bless you too. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Where's my check? Thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank yes. you. Oh, the feet, honey. Look. Oh, you like them? Look great. Let's got a pedicure done. Look at that toe cleavage. I know, isn't it nice? Beyonce had her feet done. Where? She did, I don't know. Where did you have yours done? I, a couple of places. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did you do like a different toe in every country? Of course. Oh. Yeah, when you got 12, you really get to travel. Thank you for joining me today. And I'm about to say something that I did not expect to say. I'm this beautiful. was so much fun. I didn't say you were pretty bitch. I did not. Let's. Oh, so the jury's still out. The jury is still <laughs> out on that one. But this was a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me here at the pit stop. And don't be a stranger. We'd love I, to have absolutely, you. Absolutely, of course. I would love to be back and take your job. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Security. Don't touch me. I'm not done yet. Sit the f down. Don't you know anything about interviewing? No. And thank you all for watching. Can I uh -huh. hug you now, bitch? Don't hug me. But we could touch briefly. Come closer. What a pleasure. <laughs> What a pleasure. On, let's go I'm still in this cup. Yeah, we got this. Take the cup. Here I was feeling all sad for you because you didn't win All Stars. I know. <sighs> that was rough, wasn't it? No, no, you know what? But a fierce ass bitch won. Jinx Monsoon is killing it on Broadway. So, bow to the queen. This is good. Yeah. What a beautiful statement, but it's total bullshit. You don't really <laughs> believe that, do you? That bitch! Exactly! I hate her! Then, Monet, we see the queen of all queens of All Star 7, Miss Jinx Monsoon, <laughs> perform. When you're good to mama from Chicago. Seeing her in this light right now, is this triggering? <laughs> oh my God. No. Is it triggering? Say it. It's not triggering. Say it. It is not triggering. Say it. I can hear it in it's your voice. You're sad. You're sad. You're sad. <laughs> Dr. Phil is ending. I'm just beginning. You're sad. <sighs> uh -huh. I tried so hard. I know. And I love it. I know. RuPaul announces that the top two queens are Anitra and Sasha. What do you think of these top two? This felt right. Mm -hmm. Definitely Sasha. Mm -hmm. And I think out of the other three, Anitra had the strongest performance. So you agree? I agree. Do you think that Mistrix and Lux, who actually look a little piss. <laughs> Bitch, a little. <laughs> Mistress is <laughs> not <laughs> playing. Okay, their face is cracked. They ain't Girl. happy. But don't you think that they should be proud of their run? I mean, don't you think you sit back eventually, maybe not in that moment, you're gonna go, you know what, I had a great time. In that moment, it is easy to feel real 
upset yeah. and think that you were, were robbed of something that you deserved. Wait, wait, wait. This sounds like you're saying that about you and Jinx. Is that the truth? <laughs> oh my she God. She's saying you were robbed. You are. You were saying, she said it here. She was robbed by Jinx. <laughs> this is Justice for Monet. <laughs> Justice for Monet. <laughs> Finally, we get to the most important moment of the episode, the lip sync between Anisha. <laughs> Anisha. <laughs> She black now. She <laughs> Anisha. <laughs> Finally, we get to the most important moment of the episode, the lip sync between Anitra and Sasha Colby. Girl. Girl. You know what I love? On my cards, they wrote, girl. <laughs> <laughs> How gay is that? Girl. 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 Here it is. Anitra and Sasha lip sync to Knock on Wood by Amy Stewart. Now, what are you thinking? I thought it was good. I mean, Sasha was clearly, <laughs> we all know Sasha not, not gonna lip sync in this gown that you can't even f move it. Oh, the gown, the reveal. So we saw the reveal coming, mm -hmm. but then into the gown, I was like, oh, oh. you're gonna do it in this gown? Mm -hmm. But then she did another reveal. And gave you what? Sex. Titties. Titties. Titties, ass. ass. It was on display. Mm -hmm. It was on display. And Anisha was a little more subtle. I mean, she was dancing, doing the Anisha thing. Yeah. But she kept in that same body suit, and she had the heart reveal. I was a little confused as to why they, we, we were talking about the, a heart in mm -hmm. Knock on Wood. Mm -hmm. But it was, at least she planned something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was a different type of reveal. I was it, Matt? She was playing yeah. on your heart strings. What did a bleeding heart have to do with Knocking on Wood? All right, all right. So she started it. pulling splinters out of her that's a different thing, you know that what I mean? That would be talent. I see that. I thought they're both great performers, both doing something completely different. But yeah. I thought it could go either way. Yeah. It could go either way, because I like them both. We have a winner, and it is Sasha Colby! Yay! Yay! Girl, duh! Uh, duh, girl. Yeah. Well done all season long. She looks great. She was funny. Yep. She was a good dancer. Mm -hmm. She Everything that you want in a drag dress winner, Sasha Colby did this season. Job well done. She did. Fabulous. Fabulous. Congratulations, Miss Sasha. We all had faith in you. You did an amazing job. You should be very, very proud of yourself. And welcome to the winner's circle. Yay! Except when we, wait, hold on. Let's talk about this. Now, first of all, I say winner's circle, but you're not really in the winner's circle. I am in the winner's no, circle. No, you're not. No, you're not. You and Trinity are like this little edge over here. You're like Florida, where you're a part of the United States, but you don't really count. You have no impact. That's what it is, OK? That's what it is. I'm in the winner's circle. Sure, bitch. You're the winner's octagon. That's what you're in. Next group of cards. That's a good sign. Ooh, stand up. Straighten up my back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. My moose knuckle. Ooh, ooh. Home stretch, kids. Home stretch, kids. Everyone will be home shortly watching porn. Yes. Do you want? <laughs> oh, yeah. Am I greasy? No, no. I just want you to look at it if you need. Oh, you want but, me to look at how bad I look? Oh, my God. <laughs> Sad little Debbie Gibson Pinocchio look I got going on. Now listen, I brought you something. I hope you don't mind. No. Listen, something? I, know I did. I brought you a little gift. Is it ointment? It's no, but oh. it is a supplement. I, you know, we're drinkers here. Yes, we are. Uh -huh. Yes. And I have a new line of supplements out, and I want to give it to you. This what are my, they? It's called fluorescence. Yes. And my first product is called After Party, and you take it after your night of drinking with me. No. And it makes you wake up brunch ready and ready to go the next day. Let's go mm -hmm. get a drink. Let's bitch. go get a drink. Come on. Let's go get a drink. So wait, how often do I have to take this? You just take them. You take two capsules yeah. after you're done drinking. Uh huh. And God, we really got to talk about this feet. But wait a minute, what if I'm never done drinking? <laughs> then you snort 